But I'm harmless man. You see all around fair space. Uh, this photo of me here, I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and show this. This, this is uh, something I had done in Mount Shasta. Uh, like a, it was like a Photoshop. It was a 4th of July celebration in Mount Shasta. This is the body of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, our, our governor of the state of California. <laughs> His body, and, and these people were at a booth at the 4th of July celebration at Mount Shasta. Where people, you pay five bucks, I forgot how much it was. You pay a few bucks. and. Have your face put on Arnold Schwarzenegger's body. That's his body in the movie Predator. You know, holding a weapon and all of that. You know, that's 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 from a movie. And so that's all that is. I, I have this photo up on, over the internet, and so that answers that question. Hopefully, um, that's not me holding a weapon somewhere in South America. <laughs> that's Arnold Schwarzenegger's body with, with my face kind of uh, worked in with some photo magic editing at a booth uh, there at Mount Shasta. That was 1995 I had, I had that done. Mm. <laughs> so now there, uh, I'll say it again, there are no weapons here. Mm. Make it very clear again, harmless, harmless, you can see all around the fair space here. And, and this doesn't mean I'm going to go around like uh, a member of Quantrill and his raiders, this Confederate flag over here, uh, and tear ass around town and cause harm and mayhem to anyone. No, 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 no. It does not mean anything like that. Uh, my great great grandfather was a uh, uh, captain, Confederate Army, ben, Captain Ben Franklin Wiley, fought at Shiloh. Uh, that was a loser for the South, by the way. But anyway, that's that's family history. My so that's Confederate flag and harmless, harmless, harmless. All oh, as you can see. Uh, sitting down over here. Uh, again, call it uh, all role play, of course. Uh, call it captain's chair. So what is this? Uh, what is this? Um, called a fourth way internet method um, freedom of speech um, as guarded by the laws of the US Constitution uh, this was one uh, sent out just a few minutes ago looking at it uh, in review, review one that I, ju I just wrote and sent um, now all, all this talk of death is not what it seems there's no threat anyone, no threat to you, no threat to myself, no threats here to anyone. It's, it's not what that this is about. All this talk of death. Uh, there is what is called, uh, in terms of ordinary psychiatry, what is called a uh, Cassandra. Cassandra. Gurdjieff is speaking of something entirely different, entirely different than what is from the point of view of ordinary life psychiatry. Uh, this one entitled Inevitability of Our Own Death. Um, some call it death meditation, death meditation, which is uh, very useful, very useful for purposes of, of self-awareness, self-change, self-transformation, self-development, and I'm, I'm reading from my, my own work here. Uh, Gurdjieff suggests for us to consider what would be our state of mind if, um, if we could clearly picture to ourselves and experience the definite sense of the inevitability of our own death. And uh, if, if we seriously, seriously pondered on this, and, and <laughs> if 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 we seriously pondered pondered uh, on this, um, and and are successful in, in 
entering deeply into the cognition, clear perception of the inevitability of our, of our own death, our own death. Each, each one of us, and, and such, a, uh, such a terrifying thought, the, the, the thought of death, eh? one of those facts of life. And Gurdjieff says that in, in ordinary life, uh, above and beyond, the call of, of, of uh, our attention to the, the seemingly terrible uh, fact of the inevitability of our own death, um, gee, there, there are many things which you, you, might, you might say are, are worse, worse than death. Um, you can ask yourself what those things might be, fate worse than death. Things that, if we could um, even imagine having having to live through through such experiences, through such things, as if there was such a thing as you know, something wor worse than death. Um, that, and, and as would it stir in us feelings of, of uh, intolerable anguish, intolerable anguish and beyond beyond words to describe. Edgar Jeff suggests for us to consider that um, well, that the circumstances of my life has forced me into the situation where I am now. Uh, it's, it seems to be the purpose of my life is to do exactly this, uh, um, is what God wants. I can only trust in God, as anyone in his right mind must trust in God. What else is there but trust in God? Uh, gee, you can't trust the government for anything. That's a fact. You cannot trust the government for anything. All there is, is God. Trusting God is everything. In God we trust. In God we trust. The words of the Founding Fathers. Founding Fathers of America. In God. In God we trust. Faith in God. Love God first. Hope, hope, hope in God first. So let me make it clear yet again that uh, I, um, I do not intend to commit suicide to kill myself, uh, nor do I uh, plan to or ever intend to. That should be clear, uh, based on, on what happened with uh, the poor unfortunate Officer Ross out here, I was right outside, he was standing outside my door and behind the telephone pole. I, I hope we got all that worked out, straightened out. I'm not a danger to anyone. He was more of a danger to me, but, but that's the reason for this video, is to, to make that clear, that uh, I understand, I understand. Um, I am not someone that you can put in a box and classify. There are psychiatrists who have already done this. Schizophrenia and all of that, which, gee, um, it's just words on paper. Schizophrenia. There's what is called voluntary schizophrenia, which is uh, a certain uh, way uh, to understand uh, this work. Is what I what I do here is a sort of Voluntarization of schizophrenia, so as to so as to arrive at simplicity at the center, simplicity at the middle. Each and every one of us is made up of many, many personalities. And there is what is called imaginary I, and then there's what is called true self, real I, which does not come at birth and which does not come for free. And what this work is about is is discovery of the true self, which none of us is born with. We are born to discover, to work uh, on this idea, idea of true self, true self, and as a way of life. 